All right, guys, we have a rather short overview video today and a short giveaway. Nine days long from start to finish, that 2024 Denali Ultimate Duramax and $50,000 in the form of a check are gonna go to one very lucky person. That means the keys, both keys, spare two, and the title, and the check, and all the paperwork that goes along with it, and the truck itself are gonna go to one person. That's everything you're getting, that is the package. So here's how it works. Actually, let's not talk about how it works yet. Let's talk about the truck first, and then I'll talk about how it works. The most important thing you gotta know is that it's nine days long, so odds are that 99% of you that are watching this video are watching it after the giveaway's over, and only the people that are watching it during the time frame that the giveaway goes on are able to get a chance to take this thing home. If you're watching this thing after, this video after the giveaway's over your chance to win this specific truck are gone forever luckily for you we do a giveaway every two weeks now uh, this one's nine days so not every two weeks but we go up and down and this one is only nine days long so there's always more vehicles to win this one specifically if you want it you only have until march 31st of 2024 to get entered to win it from march 22nd to march 31st those are the entry dates for this truck right here so let's get into it it's 2024 denali ultimate hd 2500 duramax and it is completely blacked out it's on a level kit it's got wheels and tires but besides that the truck is bone stock there is no performance mods there are no rock lights on this truck specifically if you want them we can add them at the shop after you win the truck but we find that most people honestly don't even use their rock lights and sometimes most of the time people that win will sell their vehicle uh, shortly after so rock lights are an extensive uh, thing to add in this truck we decide just to, to not add them but everything is painted black to match the body color of the truck fender flares fender marker lights mirrors the insides of the mirror lights the handles which also have the added switchback lights which are wired to only run amber led so these things normally when we put these in trucks handles and this is all done in house again if we put these in handles normally they're wired to run white when you're driving with your drl lights and when you signal they'll flash amber on this truck they are amber all the time so you just have a nice amber light on both your front and your back handles. And those are on all the time with your DRLs, which match your mirror lights as well as your cab lights. So sometimes on trucks, we'll do just all amber lighting. And usually it's the black trucks that we do that on. I don't really like doing white lights on black trucks. So black trucks will normally do the amber lights. This one is one of those trucks. So there's amber lights in the headlights, mirrors, cab lights, and on your handles. The headlights, however, these 2024 Denali's, the, the headlights are sequential on their startup sequence. So when you actually unlock your truck or you turn it on and your lights power up, the light kind of flows up and then it does it again before it turns on completely. There we go. Woo. Yeah, so taillights do the same exact thing. Super, super cool. So headlights, obviously painted inside completely black badges didn't have to touch them because they have the Vader Chrome. The Denali Ultimates versus the Denali's come with Vader Chrome over normal Chrome. So if you get a Denali that's not an Ultimate, you're not gonna have that black looking Chrome. So we left most of the black Chrome, the Vader Chrome, because it's an all black truck and we wanted some contrast and that is our contrast right there. Mirrors completely painted black, like I said. Window moldings, window trim, all wrapped in gloss black, as well as your OEM power steps, which have LEDs under them, which is super cool. Um, but the chrome trim, which is normally chrome, is now wrapped in gloss black. Our steps painted in gloss black. Coming to the back, our whole entire rear bumper is painted gloss black, including the top step. Tailgate handle painted gloss black, completely debadged, no badges on the back. Tail lights are tinted, no paint, just tint. Well, it is paint, paint tint. But normally on trucks, you guys are used to me saying tint and border, and the border is usually the body color, but since the truck's black, all they need is tint. So tinted uh, taillights as well as a bordered, not tinted, bordered gloss black third brake light. The reason we didn't tint it is because there is no red lens on the third brake light, that light actually shines through. On the taillights, the whole entire lens is red, except for where the reverse light bulb is, and light shines through the whole entire thing. Other than that, on the body, come to the front real quick. Grill surround, as well as the top section, all painted gloss black. This was Vader Chrome before, now painted gloss black. And then the balance, as always on all of our trucks, painted smooth in gloss black. 
our fog light surrounds over here were left in Vader Chrome and the skid plate as well as the grill, the inner grill, all left in Vader Chrome. Painted the surrounds in black but left the letters in Vader Chrome. And the, the final thing for color on the exterior of the truck is the tow hooks, which are normally chrome, are now powder coated in gloss black. We have American Force 24 by 14 concave wheels in black and milled with billet center caps. Two inch wheel spacers behind it by Shifted Industries, the strongest wheel spacers you will find. LG and D spiked lugs in gloss black. And then Venom 33 by 14.5 all terrain tires. These tires have some bad rep, I feel like, or at least when they first came out, they did. It's been about four years since they started selling these, but they are super quiet. They ride awesome. And the issue that people have said in the past is that they don't balance properly and that you get some shake. But we put these on a lot of giveaway trucks and a lot of customer trucks and a lot of my personal trucks. And I've never had an issue with the 20 plus sets that we've had. So great tires, they look cool, they ride great and they're not loud. And if you guys know how it is nowadays with uh, trucks being uh, EPA blocking you from deleting your truck and putting an exhaust on it, you hear more tire than you do exhaust because these trucks are so quiet. So it is nice having tires that are not loud because you don't have an exhaust that can overpower the sound of loud tires. Suspension wise, we have a Cognito leveling kit, which includes the upper control arms, Fox 2.0 Resi shocks with the top mount from Show Off Motorsports, and then leveling keys. Rear is stock height, but other than that guys, that is the build sheet on this truck. We have tint all around, 5% on the sides, 35% on the windshield. Our cab lights are only painted around um, the light where the sh light shines through. That is the only place on those lights that was kept clear so the light can shine through. The rest of it was all painted in black. Interior, this is where the magic happens because this is why everybody wants the ultimate. Well, first of all, they want the ultimate because it comes with Vader Chrome on the outside. But more than that, it comes with the really cool brown and black interior that has all this crazy stitching on it. And I apologize because we have a bunch of stuff in here. We just had lunch. But um, other than the color of the interior, this is not too much different than the 2024 Denali Not Ultimate. The Ultimate has the leather. It has puddle lights that you only see at night. And I believe that the regular Denali doesn't come with the LED on the steps, if I'm not mistaken. But these ones have the LEDs on the steps. You have your Ultimate door sill plates. And one really cool thing is that it has massaging seats. But other than that, the interior is exactly the same as the regular Denali's. I mean, they're, they're 10 gram more. I mean, I get it. They put a lot of work into the stitching. Who knows if it's done by a machine or not. Um, and then the last thing I believe that it comes with that's different from the regular Denali's is the suede, the black suede or Alcantara. I don't even know what if it's Alcantara suede, but we'll go with Alcantara. Uh, black Alcantara, headliner, and pillars. Also your center pillars as well, and your back pillars all the way in the back. Plenty of space in the back for your passengers for when you come pick this thing up and drive, and drive back home with your uh, family or your friends or whoever you decide to take out to Connecticut. Again, sorry for the mess here. Whew. Your secret compartments back here that I love showing because you can hide this little loop and then no one knows it's back there. The cop pulls you over. No, officer, I don't have any paraphernalia in here. No. One eternity later. Yeah, so other than that, guys, not really much difference over the normal Denali, but the Denali Ultimates are much more sought after and they're much more expensive. So you might pay 85 for a normal Denali Duramax, uh, but for the Denali Ultimate, you're gonna pay somewhere around 95. So we paid 95 for this thing, put about 20 grand into it, and you're also getting a $50,000 check. And we have some shirts back here. This one's cool. So this is just an example of some things that get you entered to win our giveaways. We always put new designs up on the site so that we have it fresh because we do so many giveaways. I feel like most of you have already purchased the things that you like. So we like to keep our catalog fresh and offer new things. You never know what's on the website. So if you're watching during this giveaway, you're gonna see new stuff from the last giveaway. And if you're watching this after this giveaway, you're gonna see entirely new stuff. So constantly putting new stuff on the site so that you guys always have something to go home with, along with your entries into the giveaway. So let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the giveaway itself. So it's nine days long, March 22nd to March 31st. And 
one dollar equals one entry the whole entire time why did we do that because it's a short giveaway there's not really time for a launch week and a ending week so there's no reason to do a promotion because it would be a lot more work on our end to do a two-day promotion at the beginning a two-day at the end uh, shooting a bunch of different videos for it but on top of that and the most important thing is that one dollar is one entry if everybody's getting that everybody has the same odds limited edition products are the only way that you can get 2x entries which is only two times the normal entry multiplier this is our 45th giveaway five years in and now our giveaways are less than two weeks each and we don't have any break in between they go giveaway to giveaway as soon as one ends the new one starts so it took us five years to get up to 45 but it's not going to take us very long to get to 100. So we have a lot of giveaways coming up. We're constantly giving you guys new style vehicles, new colors of vehicles, new models of vehicles. We're doing more cars nowadays. I know that most of our followers are grown. We are grown off of the truck community because it's all we did from the start. But we're doing cars now and trucks. However, we're throwing a truck in every three cars or so so that the truck guys, we don't leave you hanging because we still do love trucks. I still love trucks. I also do love cars. But at the same time, if we ran a truck giveaway for a month and a half and then another truck giveaway after that, you only have the chance to win one truck every month and a half. So now if we run two car giveaways, let's just say, and then a truck giveaway after, but the two car giveaways are two weeks long and the truck giveaway is two weeks long, it's the same thing as having one truck available for a full month and a half. So we're still doing trucks. We're just not doing them every single giveaway because these trucks, not this one specifically because it doesn't have too much suspension work, but some of our trucks that we do, like the Fords, for instance, that have the crazy PMF suspension lift kits, those things take a lot of time and labor to build. Not only on our end, but our powder coaters end, it takes a lot of time to powder coat those parts. Our painter, I mean, all the trucks get the same amount of paint. Um, all the plastics come off, we color match them. Sometimes the trucks get wrapped, but with cars, for the most part, it's lowering springs, wheels, and some paintwork and maybe a few accessory parts in the exterior, but there's no suspension to show. So we cut out the whole suspension build and the suspension is half of the effort on building a truck that has a fully built suspension. So again, guys, if we were to do trucks and we did them two weeks each, we wouldn't be able to do back to back giveaways because these trucks take 30 days to build. So that's why we have fillers, the cars being the fillers in between each truck. So after this truck, there will be another truck approximately a month and a half after, but um, don't think that we're just not doing trucks. We're doing trucks. It's just, we need some time to build these trucks. So what was a month and a half for every truck is now under two weeks for every truck giveaway, but uh, you will see them in between all the car giveaways. Whoever wins this truck and any other giveaway from us, it doesn't matter if you buy $5,000 worth of the stuff. Most of our winners buy $30 worth of stuff or $100 worth of stuff and they win. So don't go crazy. Just get yourself entered and you have a chance. Just get yourself entered into every single giveaway and you have a chance for every single giveaway. And one day maybe you'll win. Every single time, one person wins. And they say the same thing. Oh, I never thought this could happen, but then I started having, usually they say like I have, I had a dream like this was happening. I was like, dude, everybody says that. But only one person gets to say that it actually came true. So one person every single time does win these giveaways. It is true. We've been doing it for five years. If we weren't doing this right or correctly or legally, we wouldn't be doing it anymore. So been doing it a long time given a lot of vehicles and a lot of money to a lot of people and you could be next and if you don't win this one you might win the next one with shorter giveaways you have to enter more but also you're getting to see who won much quicker as well so anyways this truck fifty thousand dollar check that check should be used for taxes because these trucks cars everything have a value and when you win that value which you can see in our official rules for any giveaway that we run um, there is a total value of the giveaway, which is the vehicle plus the cash. That value will be added to your income. That is the only way to do a giveaway. It's the same thing as winning like a, a lottery or a really, really big ticket value um, scratch ticket. If you won like $100,000, that would be added to your income for that year. Same thing with these. So if you win this truck, you're going to have, I think it's $130,000. I don't, don't quote me on that. But if it's $130,000, let's just say, and that's added to your income, you're gonna pay whatever your tax bracket is, that portion is going directly towards taxes. So $50,000 is more than enough to cover the taxes on this truck, and every single giveaway that we do, we always give you enough cash to cover the taxes on your vehicle. The whole point is so that you can win your truck or your car 
free and clear. You don't have to pay anything out of pocket like most companies that do $10,000 or $20,000 on top of a $90,000 car. You're gonna have to pay $20,000 out of pocket on top of the 10K cash that you got just to keep the vehicle. If you don't have that money, you have to sell it in order to pay the taxes. So the whole point of us always giving you this much cash, which may seem a little unrealistic, or why are they giving that much cash, isn't just to give you cash and let you spend it. It's because we want you to have these vehicles and keep them, and we put all this time and effort into building the vehicles and advertising them, and we spend a whole day with the winner. At the end of the day, we want our winners to keep the vehicles for as long as they can. Obviously, if you need to sell it, sell it, it's your vehicle. Um, but our goal isn't to just give vehicles to people and have them sell them immediately, because it could have gotten someone that would have kept it. But again, you win these vehicles, you win a giveaway, it's your prize, you can do whatever you want with it. It's just that we would rather see it go to someone that's gonna take care of it, show it off a little bit, um, keep it for a year, two years, pass it down to their kids, whatever. At the end of the day, you can do whatever you want with it, but if you keep it, you will have to pay the taxes on it. If you sell it, you'll have plenty of money, you wouldn't have to worry about it. Some people enter these just to w win it and then sell it and then cash out. Um, and other people enter these to win it and keep it because they love the truck so much or the car so much. So I hope that whoever wins this one is like that. And I can't hope for all of them because it's just unrealistic to believe that every single person will keep their vehicle. Um, some people put them on Marketplace or eBay immediately after winning it, after they get home. But needless to say, guys, this one's live for nine days, start to finish, March 22nd to March 31st. All you guys have. One lucky person will be here in Connecticut taking the keys and the title and the $50,000 check back home with them in their brand new ride. If you decide to drive it home, you could bring whoever you want. You have five seats. You can take four extra people, whether it's family members or friends. Take them down to Connecticut with you and you will be on your way in your brand new to you truck. It does have a few thousand miles on it. So anyways, guys, LGD45 is live. Hope you like the, uh, the giveaway. Hope you liked my overview video. I will see you next overview video. Continue to uh, watch these videos and continue to enter and I will continue doing these videos for you, okay?